I thank the member and call the member for Gilmore. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. We've all heard of Y Gen, a name for a particular generation, but today I'm giving an introduction to Y Gone. It stands for your Gilmore Opinion Network. It's a plan for community members to get involved in sharing their views on important questions that are related to legislation or just ideas to make things better. The official launch of Wygon will be on Saturday, the 10th of December, between 1 to 4 at Harry Sawkins Park in Nara. This event is free of charge and is partnered with the Touched by Olivia Foundation. They'll have a sausage sizzle. There will also be family activities such as face painting, a jumping castle, and the Shoalhaven Zoo to you. I invite Gilmore residents to come and participate. Talking about participation, I really must congratulate a number of people who are or will be celebrating their contribution to the improvement of the lives of very special people. For this Saturday, December 3, is the International Day of People with a Disability. Kiama Council has developed great strategies across the municipality for those suffering from dementia. This gained them a disability award this year in Parliament House, winning the award for excellence in community partnerships. I could not have been more proud of their achievement. So this special day is designed to celebrate the progress in breaking down barriers, opening doors and creating an inclusive society for those with a disability. Slice of Life Australia has always been a standout, growing from a founder with Karen An An Anstis, providing service for um, work for hearing impaired to cafe style catering, full disability employer, branching out to a vegetable growing enterprise and also a second hand clothing boutique, each enterprise employing young people with a disability. Annette Pham is a fierce advocate for the introduction of changing places amenities blocks, and many minister in this house knows of her work. Umaro in Maruya is a standout operation for Gilmore. It's new to my electorate. I've spent time with Mark Branningham and his superb team at the centre of operations where they rightly showcase their business enterprise. They've shared a vision for disability housing for their clients, are well on the way with a co-funded grant from us to build that accommodation. They also received a grant for stronger communities to fulfil more business activities. Butterwang School and Havenley are making considerable inroads for the children attending their schools. Jess is one of their graduates and she was at Surfing for the Dis Disabled. A huge congratulations to staff, parents and helpers at all these special places. I have to say though that the Aladulla community region will be excited to hear that Jinder Lara Stronger Regions grant has been confirmed. This was a project that has about five years in the making. With a steady and consistent fundraising, they have gained 358000 to go towards that project and complete it. Brian Thompson, well done. On Saturday, December 3, another local hero, Brendan Osselbrook, will captain a ship taking disability people out to Jervis Bay Wild to look at dolphins and maybe whales in Jervis Bay. I hope they have a fabulous time and congratulations to all. The member's time has expired. I thank the member 